Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie Zidane. This is Shadow Fury 33, remaining your host with a next match between Marquis and Dorsch. And my terrible grammar. Let's begin. It's on Wanderlust, which is a cool map because I haven't shown it in a while and it supports pretty well everything. Except, I suppose, ships. The Marquis is going for a Spider Bot while Dorsch is going for Shield Bot. Spider vs. Shield is not a matchup I've seen in a while. And honestly, I haven't seen that much. Kluge vs. Shield? That one's pretty well known, you know, Venom versus Venom beats Glaive, which is beaten by Rocco's, which is beaten by Recluse, and to a lesser extent, Redback, sort of, and Hermit, definitely, and then you have the interactions between Ticks and and Fleas, and it's kind of cool. Actually, Fleas and decloaking units in general. Shield versus Spider, not as familiar. I don't know it as well. I mean, obviously, you can kind of take... I mean, okay, the thing with the Venom... The Venom actually, I think, two shots bandits. I'd have to double check. Last I, I mean, I did play a Shield versus Spider game on stream. I think I did play one recently, and it seemed like bandits were two shot by the, I should, should say, two stunned. Like it was two hits to stun. So 600 paralysis damage on a bandit with 250 health. I'm, I think, if I recall correctly. The way the paralysis damage works is that against normal, basically it's a third. So 600 means it deals 200 health worth of damage. So if a unit has 200 health, then 600 paralysis damage will instantly paralyze it. However, Bandit has 250 health. I'm fairly certain it does not get paralyzed in one hit. I'm almost certain it takes two. We'll see very shortly, but I'm fairly certain it takes two, which changes the dynamics of the matchup somewhat. Because unlike the Cloaky matchup, where Glaives get one paralyzed or one shot paralyzed by the Venoms, and thus aren't particularly useful, I mean, yes, you can use them, but it's really tricky. Bandits can be used more directly, just because of that extra 50 health. And Dorsh setting up a little bit of extra radar. Well, okay, not much, but basically, both players just getting their stuff set up. And early red back from Markeeves. Which is not surprising, just Venom Redback is fairly common on a bot-oriented map. Although Venom Hermit is quite popular recently. I've seen it a lot, I've used it a fair bit myself, it's very popular, it's kind of difficult to punch through just because the Hermits provide a lot of firepower and a lot of tanking power. On the other hand, Redbacks are, I think, higher DPS units, definitely more accurate than Hermits, but they're also much frailer. And have much shorter range. Mostly frailer. Actually, I think the range is probably the same, but... What is the range? 300 Elmos compared to... No, that's right the first time. Compared to... 350. No, actually, their range is slightly smaller. It's not that much smaller, but it is slightly smaller. But yeah, a Redback... Redback-Venom combo should work fairly well against Bandits. As we will now see! Show me the fight! Or... Or not. Apparently, it's not going to happen. Oh well. I got the camera prepped for nothing. Oh, wait, wait. Are we doing something? Because I really want to double check, because I'm, I'm almost certain it's one shot, or sorry, two shot. But it doesn't really matter. Because... Oh, one through multiplier is just for shields. My mistake. Okay, so I guess they are one shot. Oh well. That being the case would actually make the, the matchup work very similarly to Cloaky. Like shield versus sorry, spider versus cloaky compared to spider versus shield. But we'll find out soon enough. And already Oh, yeah, that, that is actually the case. Oh wow. Yeah. Yep, they are definitely one shot or one's paralyzed. Although it looks like even then Okay, the Racketeer helps a ton. Basically that's the Racketeer. Say hi, because this unit pretty much j it just turns the matchup right around. Marquis would be well advised to go to Hermits right about now. Or possibly Recluses. Because at the moment, Redback Venom is going to go nowhere. Or at least have a very hard time of going anywhere, just because those Racketeers are going to be a pain in the butt. Now, that being said, Fleas, Fleas, once the Bandits are out of the way, would be pretty deadly. They should get rid of the Racketeer no problem. I don't see them happening though. Looks like Marquis continuing with the red back venom strategy. 
And like I said, as we just saw, that's not going to be super effective against that Racketeer, or at least unless the Racketeer is taken care of first. But if the Racketeer is kept safely behind the Bandit line, it's not going to go very well for the Spiders. As we'll see once again, and... Actually, never mind, because we don't see it, because the Racketeer hit the Metal Extractor instead of anything useful. Huh. And just happened to dodge it. Still, Racketeers are going to be a problem. One Racketeer may be avoidable, but two or more Racketeers is going to be an issue for this many units. Like, Marquis' army isn't that big. And they aren't producing very much, and they're actually... They're pushing 17.5 metal in here, but it's not much, all things considered. And the Venom has been stunned out. The Redback should be stunned out soon after, or disarmed out, rather. I mean, the thing is that the Venom is not disarmed. The shields will go down rapidly. Because those shields just do not last long enough. Oh, how big are the shields? It doesn't tell me here. 900 shields. Yeah, those shields will not last long against EMP damage. I mean, the shields take damage from EMP. Like, take the paralysis damage at the one-third multiplier. So they take 200 damage just a shot from the Venom. The Redback is obviously the bigger threat. But even then, without being disarmed, this will be a problem. Being disarmed, it's massively in Spider's favor. So this is clearly being very swingy. Really comes down to disarm timing, and Marquis thinks they have it. Thinks they have a shot here at setting this up, and, well, not enough is being disarmed. So, yeah, they actually are able to break through here. And there we go. There's those fleas, and a nice roach from Dorsch putting a stop to this attack. Although the fleas still able to get some hits in before getting killed. That was a really well placed roach. I really should be paying more attention to roaches. Those are a thing that come up so often that I never seem to pay enough attention to because they always blindside me. Still, we did see it. Did go off, and it did a lot of good work for North Julian. For, thanks to North Julian G. For Dorsch. Did a lot of good work for Dorsch. And gunship coming up from Marquis. Dorsch is continuing to go with shields. Not going for any air factories at the moment. Sticking with shields, getting a pretty good economy setup too. Nice little string of energy generators for overdrive. Good to see. Or power plants, rather. How they're more typically called. And still the Redbacks causing some issues. And all oh, the Racketeers on their reload time. Getting stunned. Okay, there we go. There's the Venom. Venom and Faraday both causing problems. This shield ball, it, it's not going to go very far. The Racketeers have all been stunned out. Everything's been stunned out. This is not working out all well for Dorsch. Unfortunately, the Racketeers were not safely behind the shield ball. They were, in fact, right inside the shield ball, which does not work when you're dealing with spiders. That's the one thing about spiders. They kind of deal with the shield ball outright. The Racketeers are the way out of that. And the wreck is just killing the field of view. The Racketeer's last beneficial effect. Its corpse stopped the Redbacks for a slightly longer period of time. Or rather, took them a longer period of time to kill the forces than they would have had that Racketeer corpse not been there. That Racketeer corpse right there. The hero Racketeer corpse. It died to become cover. Briefly. It died in vain. But Dorsch, not one to give up quickly, setting up another shield ball, and no Racketeers this time. Outlaws, yes, not a terrible idea. I mean, that will help for keeping the units from being stunlocked, because it slows down the Venoms coming in, but still... Okay, there's the Racketeer, that's good. Five Racketeers, that's very good. That's what you want. Well done, Dorsch, they know what they're up to. Ah, right, the Fleas. Of course, the Fleas are also an issue. Honestly, not that big of an issue. The Bandits can take care of them, no problem. It really is the Venoms that are the problem. The Redbacks partially, but the Venoms are huge. They're ripping through the shields, and it's just... And stunning out with... The, I mean, the splash damage stunning is even the bigger problem. Because that just disables the shields right away. It doesn't even matter that they, whether or not they're breaking through the shields. Like, the splash is breaking through the shields. And this is probably pretty terrifying for Gorsh. And Marquis with... How many rapiers? One so far. Not focusing on that rapier. Not focusing on a lot, actually. They're getting dangerously close to excess. Certainly something that Dorsch has going for them right now is they are actually spending their money. 
Mark Hughes, on the other hand, they have money. They're starting to spend it now, but they weren't spending it for a while. They're really trying to hurry up to get that money spent, which... I mean, it's good they're getting spent, but now they need more power, and yeah, their economy is starting to get a bit of a halting problem here. Well, actually, no, that'd be impossible to know because the nature of the halting problem, but it is having a hard time staying, a, staying properly balanced, that's for sure. And there's those five racketeers at work. I guess four of them so far, but fifth one's on its way. There it is. There's that fifth racketeer. I mean, the four racketeers alone are enough. And at this point, are we seeing a switch in strategy or tactics or unit build order or whatever? No, we are not. Doesn't matter how I phrase that question. The answer is still no. Marquis is continuing along the exact same path they've been going along for the entire game thus far. Except for the addition of rapiers. Well, Dorsch adding in an airplane factory. Not sure what they're going to do with that. Probably Phoenixes. Although, actually, I don't know. Phoenixes are Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds are just generally popular. Phoenixes because of light units. Vulture, also good. Often a good idea to start with Vulture so you know what your opponent's up to. Especially when you consider that Spider-Bot actually has radar on all of their workers. So Marquis has a great idea of what's going on. I mean, that Spider-Bot's thing is knowing what's happening. Because they're really built around ambushes. They're not great at a straight-up fight compared to ambushes. Although Mark Eves has actually been showing a straight-up fight can work fairly well, it's just Dorsch has a much larger army at this point. And now for the harassment game. How are these rapiers going to do? Let's follow them along, see what happens. Eventually nothing, apparently. Seriously, is this are you gonna do anything? There we go. Get rid of these economy buildings. Well, at least Marquis needs to do that if they want to win, because Dorsch... I mean, they actually have a weaker economy right now. Marquis has, ca has caught up for production. But it's still a bit of a problem, and that didn't actually work that well as a harassment. Rather unfortunate, that. However, flea redback... still flea... just massive fleas, but yeah, flea redback venom still seems to be the order of the day for Marquis. Well, I don't see a venom yet, but I do see... Yeah, no, never mind. Lots of redbacks, lots of venoms, several fleas... And, once again, excessing. I mean, I realize the Vandals are up and they do cause a bit of a problem as far as using gunships goes, but... They're not useless. Gunships aren't totally useless at this point. They, they still have use. And there's the Phoenix! That's what I was looking for. Because Spider-Bots aren't the, aren't the toughest units. Phoenixes can work quite well against them. Why Marquis is letting them alone right next to Phoenix, I don't know, but... There we go. Taking care of that economy. I mean, Marquis, like I said, has a much stronger economy. And there's the Hermits. Okay. So now it's going to be a bit different. Dorsch, on the other hand, has the massive shield ball. Not even got any felons yet. Which is somewhat surprising considering the circumstances. Both because of fleas, because they would get rid of fleas no problem. And also because, like I said, Spider-Bots, not the toughest things in the world. So, while Hermits would be a problem. The rest of the units, not so much. The, flea, the Venom would actually... Sorry, the Felon would work really well. But nope. Just the straight Thug Outlaw shield ball. Thug Outlaw, Vandal, Bandit. Pretty tough mix. How many units are in here, anyway? 22 Thugs, 15 Bandits, 5 Outlaws, and 4 Vandals for good... Oh, well, actually, 10 Vandals for good measure. But yeah, those Racketeers alone are just going to make... Sure, well, they're going to cause the rest of the ball to make sure work of everything. So Marquis right now, probably not very happy with this turn of events. Especially given that their giant Shield Ball Force died inside of Dorsha's territory. Again. I mean, there have been a lot of dead shield ball forces from Marquis to Dorsh. And now, this is where the Phoenixes aren't going to be quite as effective. Hermit's able to get through it a little bit and deal a decent amount of damage. Like I said, Hermit's tank. Hermit's tank pretty well. Of course, the problem is that so do shields in general, so those Hermits are having a much harder time getting through, and no Venoms nearby, so no easy way of stunning these guys out. I think Dorsh is going to take it. Venom finally coming up. Another Venom. Like, Venom's being hurriedly produced. Emergency Venom's being thrown in here to try to help out, but the firepower is so strong right now that it's almost impossible. At this point, Marquis, unless they start emergency building, and they are emergency building some Tridents, but not emergency building anything that would... 
like Black Dawns or... Oh, Crow would be too hard emergency build. Emergency build Black Dawns would work fairly well in this case. That's about the only thing that comes to mind that would actually work here. Maybe emergency build Blast Wings. Just build loads and loads of Blast Wings and just fly them in to bomb everything out. That might do the trick. I mean, Marquis has enough money for to make that work, but I don't see them doing that. Just going for the Trident. I think Marquis is kind of panicking. Because I think what they're thinking is that they're going to have to deal with air-based anti-air, which... I mean, they have to deal with air, yes. The, the Napalm Bombers, the Phoenixes, are being a bit of a problem. But at this point, that's not the most urgent thing in the world. And urgency is rather the priority. That, that's... That kind of needs to be what sets your priorities right now. Oh, apparently Marquis in the chat pointing out they forgot about Blast Wings. You're making the Blast Wings cry, Marquis. They, they just, they just want to die for you. You're not even giving them that privilege. You're a monster. Anyway, Marquis' monstrousness aside, that's game. So we're gonna be moving on to the third and last game tonight. No, another North Chilean G versus Torch game. But on a bit more typical map than Island Test, because Island Test is a map that I've never seen... I've, well, said I think I saw played before. I might have seen it in a dream. Can't say for sure, because I don't remember my dreams super well. Except the ones I do. Which are really weird. Incidentally, I have the plan for my dream house on the side here. And when I say dream house, I mean it, literally. Some of my dreams are just weird. But yeah, the next game on Ravage between North Chilean G and Dorsch. That'll be up in a couple of minutes. Stay tuned.